Amidst growing tension with China, India has tested two new advanced weapon systems. India has successfully test-fired the Shorya surface-to-surface nuclear-capable ballistic missile. This was the first ever user-specific trial of the indigenously developed hypersonic nuclear-capable Shorya missile and was carried out on October 3rd off the coast of Odisha. India has also tested the supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo smart on the 5th of October It's a system that can hit enemy submarines when they're beyond torpedo range In a press release the defense research and development organization DRDO said all mission objectives including the missile flight up to the required range and altitude and the release of the torpedo were met According to IANS, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh stated, This will be a major technology breakthrough for standoff capability in anti-submarine warfare. I congratulate DRDO and other stakeholders for this significant achievement. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how test firing of the Sharia missile and supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo is a message to China. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The de facto border between China and India is the Line of Actual Control (LAC). Both countries have a difference in perception of their actual alignment at nearly 14 different points. This has emerged as an issue between the two nuclear-armed nations. On the 15th of June, these two militaries engaged in conflict in eastern Ladakh's Gawan Valley. It resulted in significant casualties. The Indian Army stated that 20 personnel were killed. While China didn't reveal its casualties, Indian as well as American intelligence indicated that it lost 35 to 45 personnel. The two countries have held discussions at different levels, but tensions have simmered since then. It's important to note that China has tried to change the territorial status quo gradually, post by post, island by island, instead of trying to capture in one go. For example, China first occupied the Paracel Islands in 1974 and then slowly expanded its presence southward by attacking Vietnam's islands in the Spratly chain in the 1980s. This strategy, known as salami slicing, aims for the slow accumulation of small changes. China is trying to use the same tactics against India, but seems to have bitten off more than it can chew. Shorya is a canister-launched missile. It's been developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO. The missile was test-fired with a dummy payload from a land-based platform in a fully operational configuration. The 10-meter-long missile has a strike range of 700 kilometers or 435 miles to 1,800 kilometers or 1,118 miles. It can carry warheads with a payload of up to a ton. It boasts of a two-engine system which accelerates it to six times the speed of sound before it reaches the height of 40 kilometers or 35 miles, post which it cruises towards the intended target. The missile has a unique capability. It can guide itself up to the target like a cruise missile while being powered by solid fuel like a ballistic missile. Because of this, it's highly maneuverable and much less vulnerable to anti-ballistic missile defense systems. The missile can reach hypersonic speeds, that is, it can travel more than 5 Mach when plunging towards its target. 
This will ensure that enemy radars will have less than 400 seconds to detect, track, and intercept before it hits the intended target. A report in New Indian Express quotes a scientist as saying, Shorya has an element of surprise as it can be kept in locations camouflaged in underground silos from enemy surveillance and the enemies would not be able to detect till it's fired. It cannot be detected by satellite imaging, which makes the system war ready and lethal. The missile can be fired from both land and underwater submarines. The SMART system being developed by the DRDO will give India the capability to hit an enemy submarine from standoff ranges. The weapon was flight tested from Wheeler Island off the coast of Odisha. The DRDO has said in a press release, it's a missile assisted release of lightweight anti submarine torpedo system for anti submarine warfare operations far beyond torpedo range. This launch and demonstration is significant in establishing anti submarine warfare capabilities. Viewers may note that the program was revealed a few years ago when the Indian Ministry of Defense stated in its annual report for 2018 2019. DRDO has taken up a project to develop a missile assisted release anti submarine torpedo system for ASW operations far beyond torpedo range 50 to 650 kilometers. China has deployed sophisticated air defense systems as part of the anti access and area denial A2AD strategy. It's layered several indigenous systems to provide air defense to key areas. Viewers may also note that China became the first foreign buyer of S-400 when a $3 billion deal for the delivery of six S-400 battalions, a total of 36 launchers, was signed. It was reported that China received its first S-400 shipment in May 2018. Though several components, including missiles, are yet to be delivered by Russia, it will likely be fully operational in one to two years. In this situation, a missile like Shorya, which is very hard to intercept, will be an excellent addition to Indian forces. The missile, if launched from land near the border area or fired by a submarine close to the coast, will be able to strike important Chinese assets. U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency has estimated that by this year, China would have a submarine fleet of about 70 boats. These are equipped with anti-ship cruise missiles, wire-guided and wake-homing torpedoes and mines. It includes nuclear-powered attack submarines or SSNs such as the Shang class and ballistic missile boats like Type 094 Jin class, each of which can carry 12 JL-2 nuclear-armed ballistic missiles. With the presence of Chinese submarines in the Indian Ocean region on the rise, SMART will act as a deterrent. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.